Stocking our pepper pantry from the comfort of home. Hey friends, it's Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. I've got another prepper pantry haul for you today. This one is different because it was done completely online. All online shopping shipped to the house. If you watched my last video that I did for National Preparedness Month, I talked about how I had to cycle through some of our shelf stable milk. And in doing so, I managed to not go into the grocery store for about a week and a half, two weeks. We have a pretty decent food storage to shop from, and this time of year we're getting plenty of fresh produce out of the garden. Not going to the store for that length of time allowed us to set aside a pretty good chunk of the budget for the online orders. People sometimes wonder how I can do such big hauls. Remember, I don't always shop like this. But also remember, when you've been doing this as long as I have and you've built up a pretty good food storage, a lot of your basic weekly shopping, you're shopping from your food storage. That leaves extra in the budget to be able to restock on the other end. So what I'm sharing with you today is basically my Thrive Life delivery for September and my Amazon subscribe and save for September, along with a couple of items that I had delivered from Walmart online. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'll let you know some of the pros and cons and things that I like and don't like about these type of subscription services and the ones that I use. I'd love to get your input as well. Do you use any monthly subscription delivery services? What do you use and what do you think of them? Let me know down in the comments. So here's what we got in this month's online stock up. We've got Thrive Life items over here. And then on this side, this is mostly all Amazon items with a couple things that were ordered from Walmart delivered to the house. In this month's Thrive Life delivery, I got some more scrambled egg mix. We use a lot of that. I got chopped carrots. I got some a shredded beef. I got the shredded Monterey Jack cheese and I got chopped chicken. Now pretty much everything I got from Thrive Life this month was on sale. And that's pretty typical of how I shop no matter what type of food I'm shopping for. Freeze dried is no different. I have a pretty good working pantry of freeze dried food set up because yes, we do use this stuff on a daily basis. We make a practice of not having anything that's put away just for emergencies. In the middle of a catastrophe, you don't want to be having to learn to cook with something that you're not familiar with cooking with and having your family eat something that they're not accustomed to eating. So we've built up our working pantry and then we've built up a little bit of a stockpile. So when I need something, I shop from my food storage and that allows me to focus every month on purchasing just items that are on sale. That's how having a food storage can help you control your purchasing. That's how I make sure that I pay the lowest price I possibly can for everything. I've had some people contact me because if you've never shopped for freeze dried food before, it can be a bit of a sticker shock. Freeze drying is an expensive process. The trade off of course is you get a shelf life that's amazing, nutrition that is amazing, and ease of use that saves you time in the kitchen. Now the other way that I like to save money on my freeze dried food purchases is with these snackies pouches. Now this month we got two grapes, we got two Fuji apple, two um, coconut bites, and one green peas. Now I did the math and per ounce these Snackies pouches are cheaper than buying it even in um, the family size cans. Of course not everything's available in the pouches, but ounce for ounce I can get a better price. Now of course the trade-off is these pouches do not have the 25 year shelf life that the cans have. These have a shelf life of about a year. But for things that we're using on an everyday basis, things that we're snacking on, using and cooking, I can save a little bit of money buying the pouches. And it's also a smaller container, so I don't have to worry as much about the food absorbing moisture and getting that staleness that freeze-dried food can get if you leave it sitting too long. So not only can the Snackies pouches save you a little bit of money, but they're also a great way to try an item and see if you like it before you commit to a big can. Then another thing that I was super excited about this month, I try to grab one or two of these anytime they're on sale is these consolidators. So this week, I mean this month, I got two of these because they're on sale. Now I, I like that you can stack these, you can stack them too high and you can also attach them end by end so you can kind of create a custom unit. So that's what I'm working on. I did post a video a while back of when I got my very first consolidator putting it together. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Be gentle because it was one of my very first videos and I didn't even film it for YouTube. So it's kind of a little rough, but um, I'm working on creating like a custom unit with these consolidators. So I think I have about four of them now, but don't make the mistake that I made. Please measure your space before you order anything. I make this mistake all the time. So I did not measure these pantry units are meant to go on deeper pantry shelves. And apparently the shelves in my pantry are not that deep. They're more the depth of cabinet shelves. So I got my first unit put together, went to put it in my pantry and found that it did not fit. It hung out over the end and it was going to tip off. So I'm still trying to 
figure out if we're going to totally renovate the pantry or if we're going to find a different place to put these. Next, we've got some Amazon items. I got my monthly subscribe and save order. So this month I got a couple of cases of Campbell's soup. There's golden mushroom and beefy mushroom. You may be noticing that I am really a huge fan of Campbell's soup. That's one place where I really feel like it's worth the extra money usually to pay for the brand name rather than the store brand. I've never been happy with the store brands of soups. So to me, it's extra. It's worth it to pay the extra for Campbell's. I swear I am a 50s housewife reincarnated. I love cooking with Campbell's condensed soup. I got these potato pearls. Um, I've actually not tried potato pearls before, but I've heard a lot about them. They're kind of like potato flakes, but they're different. So I'm going to give these a try and see how we like these. And then I got a bunch of seasonings. You all know how I love my seasonings. Um, we used to get chili -o all the time for our chili in a big pack and a big bottle like this. And I wasn't able to find it for a while. And I, I found out that they were supposed to be rebranding it. Instead of French's chili -o, it was going to be Durky Chili Pronto, I believe. But I was not able to find either one of those. And finally, I was getting really close to running out. And I did find these, um, these packets of chili -o with onion that were a decent price. So I'm hoping that those will be good. I also grabbed a couple bottles because it's cheapest um, per, you know, per ounce per serving to purchase the two pack. So I grabbed um, that. We'll definitely use it up. We eat a lot of chili here. So if you tried the Williams chili seasoning before, let me know how you like it. What's your favorite chili seasoning and where you like to get it. I also grabbed, this is a six pack of achiote paste, which I have actually never used, but I ran into a recipe on one of my canning pages that called for that and I really wanted to try it. So I grabbed this from Amazon. It was the cheapest way to purchase this. So if you have any recipes that use the sachiote paste, I would love to hear them because I'm always looking for new ways to use the things that we stock. So if you have any recipes that use this, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I would love to hear them. This is my absolute favorite keto granola. I love this stuff. This is basically the only item that is really on my subscribe and save the way it's intended to be used. I get this every month. I was getting two bags per month because I was using a little bit more than one bag. So I was running out. And then once I built up enough of a surplus, I kind of cut back to one bag a month until I start to get low again. This is good for about a year. It has about a one year shelf life. So basically I can store as much as I can use in a year. And if I get more than that, then I try to cut back and just keep about that much. But this is delicious. If you put it in the, um, the low carb yogurts, I think they're called just too good or something. This is absolutely satisfies my sweet tooth with just like one carb in that, two carbs in that and two carbs in the yogurt. I also grabbed these um, Near East couscous mix. Now this is me really being nostalgic and trying to find something that I had when I was a child back in the 80s. I know I'm dating myself. Um, we used to get a mix like this. It was couscous. It had vegetables in it, peas and carrots. I remember we would take that on backpacking trips and I loved it so much and I have not seen it. And I was searching on Amazon and this popped up and my dad said he does not think that it was a curry but this looks just exactly the same as what we used to get. So I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to film this for you guys first. It's a pack of 12. It wasn't too expensive to get this from Amazon in my subscribe and save. So I'm going to try this and see if this is what I remember. Now, after the food, I got a bunch of sort of first aid type of supplies from Amazon. Um, all subscribe and save. Now these are the fingertip and knuckle bandages. We go through a lot of these and I'm really trying to build up a good stock of them. So I just grabbed this three pack was the cheapest way to get these. I got a little thing of uh, anti-itch cream packets. Now I do like to stock these packets because it's easy for me to throw them into little kits, into little EDC kits and travel first aid kits that I might not have room for a whole packet of, I mean for a whole tube of cream. So this is anti-itch cream because I'm running low on the packets. This is a, a pill splitter. I really wanted um, a really small pill splitter and compact that I would be able to pack in like my first aid kit in my vehicle where I don't have a lot of space. And so I was searching and searching and I found one. I think this will fit the bill. It really is um, pretty compact and it will fit pretty well. The ones that I have that I picked up at Walmart are pretty bulky and it got some good reviews. It's supposed to work pretty well. So I have big hopes for that. 
I grabbed, this is Advil individual packets, just like the anti-itch cream, I really like to have the small packets just to stash in my purse, my wallet, my car, my, you know, all my little kits. And I've been buying the Advil packets at Dollar Tree, and then I found this on Amazon, and I did the math, and per packet, it's much cheaper to buy it this way rather than buying the teeny boxes at Dollar Tree. So I figured I would buy one of these, and this would last me quite a while. And then I got, um, this is packets also. This is packets of A&D ointment. I had no idea that this is actually 144 packets. This is a big pack, but I use A&D ointment. I've always used this. Um, I love this. I've used it on my babies for diaper rash. We use it as a skin protectant, any kind of chafing, any kind of irritation. So this was another thing I wanted to have to add into all my kits. And then I got some burn ointments and burn creams. If you saw the video that I did on my, um, my trauma kit that I put together, I asked if any viewers had any suggestions of other things that I could add. And I had a woman who commented, and she was an RN, so she definitely knew what she was talking about when it comes to trauma. And she said I should include some things for burns. And the funny thing is I had already added all these items for burns to my subscribe and save order. But I was thinking of them just for my regular first aid kits. I just wanted to add them to my regular first aid kits because we're working on revamping and bulking up everything like that. But she really had a great point. This would be really good to put in my trauma kit. So I got, um, these are hydrogel dressings with silver in them. This is just a different brand, basically the same thing. This is a two pack. The other one is a four pack burn dressings. And then this is, you know, I have a thing for little packets. So this, this is a really good burn gel. It's got 4% lidocaine and these are individual packets that I'm going to be able to stick in my little kits. Next I grabbed, this is just a pack of, I believe it's eight uh, self-adhesive bandages. So this is something that I'm going to be adding into first aid kits, bulking up our first aid kits with. This is just a pack of masks. My kids still have to wear these to school this year and they prefer the disposable masks. I got these for my youngest daughter. They're kind of, they're child size and they've got these beautiful little prints and they're individually wrapped, which I really like to get the masks individually wrapped because then I can stick them in their backpack or anywhere like that and I don't have to worry about them getting dirty and then they can have a spare just in case they forget, which happens quite often. Now the last few things that I grabbed in my online stock up were from Walmart, but ordered from the website and shipped to my house. That does allow me to pick bigger size packages than what my store carries and usually save some money. So I got a big pack of, it's 10 rolls of the sparkle paper towels. In my stores that I've seen around here, the paper products are getting kind of sparse again. The toilet paper has been very low. The paper towels have been very low. So I've just been, you know, adding to my stock pretty regularly, a pack here, a pack there. There's going to be limits put on this stuff, and I just want to make sure that if it comes down to it and it's sold out everywhere and people are lining up and fighting for it, I don't have to be involved in that. So I got a big pack of paper towels, and this is a pretty big bag of rabbit food for our rabbit. He's just a pet, but I am thinking seriously about wanting to get into meat rabbits at some point, so... But this is for our pet rabbit, because um, don't forget about your pets when you're stocking up. We need to stock up on pet food as well. And that's something that's not shown here. I did grab um, two big bags of dog food, and I grabbed three big bags of poultry feed for our birds. They were also from Walmart delivered. It's pretty nice to have that stuff delivered to my doorstep and not have to lug the giant bags out in the parking lot and into my van. So that was another thing that I grabbed from my online stock up. So I really enjoy using both of these sort of monthly subscription services. They save me money and you know I love that. The one thing I don't really love about the Amazon subscribe and save, and if you use this, I've been using it for a while, but there could totally be something that I'm missing here. So if you use this and you know something that I don't know, please fill me in. But I have a one certain day of the month that my subscribe and save delivery is going to come. So if I have just gotten my subscribe and save delivery, and I need to add something else for the next month, I have to wait basically a month before I get my item. If I wanted to get it sooner, I pay more. That's different from the Thrive Life delivery service. I really like that with the Thrive Life delivery service, I fill my delivery, and no matter how many items I order, I'm gonna get at least 15% off no matter what, and I can make as many deliveries in one month as I want. For example, I had already gotten my monthly delivery for September, 
and then they announced that they were coming out with freeze-dried shrimp. And I have been dying for freeze-dried shrimp, shrimp. I've been begging for it. So I placed another delivery. It doesn't matter how many I place in the month and I can get them any day of the month that I want. I can change the dates. I can ship them as soon as I get my delivery ready. I really wish that the Amazon subscribe and save would work like that. If I fill my delivery with five items, I wish they would just let me process it right at that moment. With the Thrive Life, I can process it whenever I want and it doesn't matter how many items I add to my delivery. If I'm under $100, I'll pay shipping. That's another reason that I use these Snackies pouches. I'll um, use those to kind of bump myself up over $100 if I have less because I hate paying shipping. It literally is my mission in life to not pay shipping. But so that's, that's some of the pros and cons of those two delivery services. So if you use either one of those and you know some tips and tricks that I don't, then please let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this online edition of the Prepper Pantry Haul. It's really nice sometimes being able to shop from the comfort of your own home and have things delivered right to your front door. But nothing really can take the place of going in the store yourself and browsing for clearance deals and unexpected items. So let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer shopping online or do you like going to the store physically? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future uploads. This is Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.